All right, if you haven't seen this before, this is the standard gauge pod assembly that's included with all of the Horsepower Freaks turbo kits. This holds a wideband and boost gauge as well as some other components that we have uh, actually removed and installed on another steering column here because the gauges are now installed inside the rearview mirror. Uh, this is the first oval mirror that we've done. We typically use a little bit larger mirror because there's not a, a heck of a lot of room inside these mirrors, but we were able to get the gauges to fit and as you can see, uh, it looks like they're functioning. If we remove power here, one of the unique things about this setup is with the displays off, you really can't even tell that there's anything inside of the mirror. And of course, if we reapply power, uh, you'll see the gauges run through their startup cycle here. And uh, what we've actually done is uh, we replaced the knock siren with a slightly larger and louder siren because we've got more room to do it. Uh, this LED here is a race fuel indicator and it indicates that the car has been switched into race fuel mode and requires 110 octane fuel and uh, the key switch over here turns on or off to switch between the various maps. Now before we ship everything out we just want to do a final test to make sure that all of the components on the new steering column that were removed from the original steering column are operating, functioning properly. The first thing we want to do is just te test the race fuel key and uh, we want to make sure that we see this LED come on, okay, which it does. Looks like that's working okay. The uh, other item that we need to check is the knock siren. This this is actually the old knock siren that was removed. Uh, those are normally installed in the back of the gauge pod here, and so there's a limited amount of room available. Uh, okay, there's that. And then if we connect power to the new knock siren, it's a little bit louder. All right, uh, that's all.